everyone and welcome back to the channel where your likes, comments, and subs are always greatly appreciated. And speaking of appreciating those subs, as of the shooting of this video, I just crossed the 3,000 subscriber threshold. So thank you very much. I'm also closing in on uh, half a million views for the channel, which is absolutely amazing. Um, I really just support the channel through the ad revenue. I'm not asking for Patreon money or anything like that. So everything really is just supported by you watching the channel. Um, and then just getting some ad revenue that mostly pays for my Adobe subscription to keep the videos going. So thank you so much for subscribing. Thank you so much for watching. Uh, the purpose of this video is to alert you to a new firmware update that was released in October of 2024 by Zoom for the R20 multi-track recorder. This firmware update brings the firmware up to version 3.4. If you don't know how to update the firmware for your R20, I'll put a link in the description below. It's a very short video that describes every single step that you need to go through to update the firmware. It's a pretty straightforward and easy process. Everything's in that video below. Okay, but for the 3.4 update, what's included? Well, it's really just a single bug fix. Um, and the way that the bug works is that if you set up within a project a marker and you put a marker in there and you then move your timeline to that marker and you arm some tracks and you decide to record, hit the record button from that marker and you record an audio region and hit stop, it's possible that after you hit stop and after you go through that fresh recording that you will lose that freshly recorded audio region. And the update to 3.4 is supposed to fix that. Now, for me in particular, I don't really remember seeing um, a bug like that. I use markers all the time. I've also created a video on how to use markers. I'll put that description in the link below as well. Um, but I have not seen that specific bug pop up for me. It's been about three years that the R20 has been out and I use markers. I record with them, you know, and, and I actually will record from a marker set point, but I have not seen that bug specifically. However, I have reported previously on a bug that if you um, hit record and then if you hit the stop button really quick and then hit it again, I've noticed that occasionally you lose your recorded region, that freshly recorded audio take that you just had. It's entirely possible that I wasn't paying attention to it, but I might have been recording from a marker. So it's it's also possible that I did see this bug. I just wasn't really cued into the fact that it had something to do with the marker position and recording from that marker position onward. Um, so it's possible that I've seen this bug pop up. You know, the thing that I've reported on where you hit the stop button rapidly after you're done recording, usually like twice because Usually I mess up a take and so I hit record, stop, and then stop again as I wanna go back to the marker or I'll go back to the beginning of the song. It's possible that I, that's the bug that I was seeing. That's happened to me maybe half a dozen times over the past couple of years and I have never been able to record it and capture it on video. So that's really what the firmware update is designed to fix. There's no other features that have been added with that firmware update. So on one hand, you have Zoom that's still supporting a device that came out nearly three years ago, which I think is great. They're still looking into problems. They're still fixing bugs and try to make the recorder the best device that it can possibly be. However, they haven't released a firmware update for a year. So it's almost exactly a year since they released the firmware update to version 3.3, and this one moves it to 3.4, and it's only a single bug fix. I kind of had hopes that Zoom would continue to develop the software inside of the R20 and also the smaller R12 and try to pack in some more features that seem reasonable or seem that you, you know, fixes and extra features that you could add through software um, and not have to worry so much about the hardware that you're, you're stuck with. Unfortunately, we have not seen that development from Zoom. I don't know if they're going to continue to develop new features with the software platform that they've got inside of the R20 and the R12. Um, it would be nice if they added just a little bit more functionality when it comes to markers, maybe some more synth sounds, things that seem possibly fixable through software. But unfortunately, with this update to 3.4, it's just a bug fix and there are no new features. I've only been using the new firmware for about two days, just a couple hours worth of testing things out. I'm not noticing any other differences. So I think it's probably okay to just upgrade to the 3.4 uh, firmware, if you're coming from a lower version, you're not coming from 3.3, you're coming from say 2.0 or 2.4, you could just update all the way to 3.4. You don't have to go 
in the in-between steps. So just go ahead and just do the single firmware update all the way to 3.4, and at least it'll protect you, hopefully, from recording with markers and coming across any of these bugs that uh, Zoom has reported and now fixed. All right, that's all I wanted to cover for this video. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you again next time. All right, goodbye.